no doubt he's a he was a magic person in this series and uh, you know scored that many goals and uh, the show the confidence that he showed uh, in playing in this series is uh, pretty outstanding. So you know he's a he's a player that uh, we've always felt uh, good about uh, in our organization and uh, as I said he's uh, he's shown what he's all about. So uh, uh, we said ice in his veins and that's what he's got. <clears throat> Adam Kirchin from Boston Herald. Is there uh, any lingering doubt left between you guys and the Penguins after, uh, you know, again, the not choosing you guys and the Matt Cookie? Between us and the Penguins? Yeah. Yeah, we're, I'm not going to talk about the Penguins tonight. We just finished against the Rangers, so I'll stick in it to, to that if you don't mind. Yeah. Well, Dan Rosen with NHL.com. What was the difference in your guys' ability? to not just surge, but to keep the momentum each time you surge. I mean, it was like every time you got going a little bit, it was almost impossible for the Rangers to get Well, I think our guys was, uh, were very focused in this series. We knew what it was all about. Uh, you know, I'd I have to say that we uh, probably played with fire in the first round and almost got burned. And uh, I think... Uh, uh, having said that, we know that the first round we talked about it's always one of the toughest to get through, but uh, we built some momentum from that last game, and we knew we had to be better against the Rangers, and uh, you know, we were fortunate to have everybody going, and uh, you know, when we talked about those four lines, and you saw it again tonight, but also the young guys that came in that stepped in there and uh, didn't miss a beat, and they did a great job, so the only way we could beat this Rangers team was to have everybody going. Uh, you know, Torch said it uh, a couple of times, there's no quit in this team, and, and there was no quit in this team. They, they made it hard for us, and uh, uh, all the games were close, uh, and uh, their goaltender was outstanding. We knew we had to be a lot better to get some goals against uh, Henrik, because what he can see, he can stop. So I think we bought into the concept of really uh, throwing pucks at the net and making sure that we had some traffic there. But uh, we knew we couldn't let our guard down. Uh, because they were a team that uh, had no quit in them, and if we let our guard down, they were going to come right back at us. Claude, uh, my favorite Boston Bulldog, talk a little bit about the presence of Dennis Seinberg back in the B, and you know what it meant to get him back, especially after the injury he suffered. And the, the, did the period of inactivity concern you when you threw him back out there, and was there any point during the game where you said, he's back? No, I think, uh, you know, we made sure that uh, when he came back, he was ready to come back. And, uh, you know, uh, it was a close call, to be honest with you, in game four. It really was a close call. We had, almost had him back, and we chose to to wait one more game. And uh, But he was ready to go. And what he does is he just adds some stability to our back, back line. And, uh, uh, you know, he's every, every year in the playoffs, he's been one of our best defensemen. And he really rises to those... Uh, Occasions and uh, you know we're happy to have him in this game tonight because we knew how tough it was going to be. 